my most amazing artists, I was just thinking about all the things I have to tell you about. We better get started. Let's take a look at the art room. My amazing artists, as you come into the art room, you're going to line up quietly against this white wall. Your classroom teacher will be there too. Then I'll invite you into the art room. As you can see, there are some pretty nifty footprints on the floor. Those are to help us with the traffic in the art room because when we get everybody creating art, it can get a little crowded and squishy in here. So it's best to follow the traffic directions. Plus you do not want to get a ticket around here. They are expensive. After you find your assigned to seat at your table, you might be dying to know what are we gonna learn in art today? Well, I might have already told you at the door, but in case you forgot, check out the board. It'll give you the play-by-play -play of the art room plan. You also might notice this little nifty sign that says, sorry, we're closed. That means that when you come into the art room, you need to wait quietly for the teacher's directions. I might have some important supplies to tell you about that we need or that we'll be using. I might have an important word to tell you about that we're going to be focusing on. Or maybe an artist that's going to give us some inspiration. So please come in quietly. After I flip over that sign, it'll say we're open. Then feel free to ask questions or tell us something that you are learning. Anybody know what this might be? I'll give you a clue. We'll talk about it another day. Moving along towards the right, we have the art room voice levels. When you come in, you'll start at a level zero. The Mona Lisa look. Check out that Mona Lisa. She's really quiet. Her mouth is closed. She's looking straight ahead and her hands are in her lap. Maybe while we're working, we might get to form a normal low flow, maybe some spy talk. We don't want to get to be level five out of control. That's for the playground. Over here, some of my favorite art books are up here this week. We might be thinking about them soon. If you're curious, you can check them out. We also have our art room rules. We talked about these already, but for a quick review, art room rules A is for aim. Aim to do your best. Aim to do what's right. R is for respect. Respect each other, respect the teacher and yourself. Respect the art room, the art stuff, and all the fabulous art masterpieces. And T is for trust. Trust yourself. You can do it. Trust your ability to learn. It's how God made you. To learn and to create. We'll help you talking about that more. I'm moving over towards the rest of this lovely tree. And you can see the Masterpiece Gallery. Maybe you made some awesome art at home. And you want to show the rest of the school what you made. Feel free to bring it in and I'll hang it up in the Masterpiece Gallery. Taking a closer look over here, you might be wondering, what is that cool game that says Art Party at the top? That's right. It's the amazing game of art. Your class has the opportunity to win an art party. Now, it's not going to be a crazy town party with the moon bounce and everything, but it'll be a fun art activity. Your class has a special color. Your little piece can move up the game board to win a special day in art. You can move your piece if your class, maybe is they're working extra quietly that day. Maybe they're being extra kind to each other. Maybe you're being good disciples. Maybe you're cleaning up right away when it's time to go. Maybe you're being problem solvers. All those things 
are ways that your class's gain piece can move up the gain board. You also have some fun activities along the way. If you land on this space, you can win free choice seats or a funny YouTube video or some other things that'll be fun along the way. One way you can is this, I already said, cleaning up right away, which reminds me, do do do, this awesome thing is the cleanup bell. When you hear the cleanup bell, that is your clue to stop working and to clean up. There might even be an opportunity for you to ring the cleanup bell. It sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Of course, you would never ask to ring, to ring it, but maybe if you're working extra hard or trying to be your best. But what if I'm still working on my most amazing masterpiece? Like I said, this is the cleanup bell. When you hear the cleanup bell, you must clean up right away, even if you're working on a most amazing masterpiece. It is pretty cool. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay. Cool. When you clean up, you are going to make sure your whole table is clear. You might have to work together as a table. If you made a mess and your neighbor made a mess, please feel free to help them out. It is not um, a problem for us to do that. We're kind in here. We're giving. And we want to uh, show respect to each other by cleaning up together. When your table is all clean, you're going to push in your chair under the table. Oops. Doop. There we go. Under the table goes your chair. Then you're going to stand right by your table. And I, I will ask you to go to the exit line. Now, some kids look at these stools they are so cool and they are so fun and they like to stand up on this little bar. But let me tell you, we're not going to do that in our room because <gasps> this is what happens. I know. It's a devastation and a tragedy. And it's kind of sharp and dangerous. So I don't want you to fall down or hurt yourself or scratch yourself. So I really need you to stand on the floor if you're standing up. Sit on your bottom when you're um, sitting on your stool. We can be great cleaner uppers in here. I'm moving around the room a little bit more and we've got a lot of supplies and uh, special art materials here. Over here we've got our um, storage containers. There's some funky codes going on on these boxes. If you've been in this art room before you know these are your class codes. For example, if you are in Mrs. Giroux's third grade, your class code is 3D. If you're in Mrs. Thomas's second grade, your class code is 2T. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get the picture? I think you do. You guys are pretty smart. Those class codes need to be on your artwork if you want to get it back. It really helps the teacher keep everybody organized because I want to give you your beautiful masterpieces back. Maybe during art, you accidentally break your pencil. You need a new one, but there's not another one at your table. All you need to do, quietly get up, get a nice sharp pencil. Maybe you need to blow your nose, get a piece of tape. Those things are available for us at any time. You have finished your work. It looks amazing, but all your classmates are still working which is totally fine because it's not a race. But you might be wondering what you can do. Well, let me introduce you to the Studio Lounge. The Studio Lounge is a time and a place where you can relax. Maybe you wanna look at an art book that has some really cool illustrations, get some inspiration from some artists. You could practice drawing with a how-to book, you could create a mini art project and put it up here in the post-it note gallery. 
you could practice um, some art or maybe some cursive writing on these awesome whiteboards. Those are things you can do with a teacher's permission after you finish your art and do, a, do your best. Boys and girls, sometimes in the art room, we might have an emergency. In that case, it is really important that you listen to the teacher. Let me give you a heads up about some of the emergency things that you might need. First, if we have a fire drill, we are gonna quietly line up at this door. It is actually an exit. We're gonna go right outside um, this door and we are gonna line up on a line out there. You need to quietly do that so we can be ready to listen to the office if they have some important information for us. If we have a code red drill, we are gonna huddle down here in this corner over by the amazing art game. It's gonna be squishy, but it's gonna be safe. We wanna be safe at school. Finally, if we have a tornado drill, you are gonna follow those footprints and come around here to this exit line. Isn't it amazing? It has little pencils on it. I think it's so cute. We are gonna line up looking forward on this exit line all the way to the stop. Then at the when the teacher says we're gonna go to our special tornado drill place. Actually, this is exactly how you're gonna exit the art room. You're gonna line up here. You are going to be ready and quietly waiting for your classroom teacher. I'm so excited to start art. So let's go.